uh, UAT usually done in uh, stage testing, uh, in stage environments, excuse me, which is this orange block over there. So it's still before it goes to production, but it's a last environment. So basically stage is kind of a release candidate, right? Something that we almost, um, almost kind of, so the, the one that we're gonna push, we kind of assume it's good enough to be really, to become a production, but it's still not production. So there is still a chance for us to, to find an issue uh, and, uh, and don't go to production with this build. And sometimes we need to fix the stage build. It's not like all, all the time, it doesn't happen like every time, but sometimes it happens. That's why we need to do, to run regression one more time if there was a change. Um, so the question is by testers. So user acceptance testing is usually done by product owner. So basically, or by, by your customer, if it's uh, internal customer, if it's external customer, then there is usually no user acceptance testing done by, by the actual, but there are some other options. I don't wanna go too deep on that, but um, it's usually product owner or internal teams like marketing. Before go to a production, they would check. We will give them a link and say like, hey guys, is it what you wanted? But it's not released yet still, right? So they can really say like, oh, it's actually, we thought it, it, it will be, it will look differently. It will be like round shaped, but we forgot to tell you. So we will be okay. It's not too late to change it, right? So yeah, customer satisfaction. 